Well, we've got an easy spring craft project for you right now. We're excited about this one. It was so popular on Kari and Woods blog, Thistlewood Farms. We just had to have her come and show us how to make it. Glad you're here. I am so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. So this cute monogram letter. Yes. Uh, it's so easy to make. It is a cinch to make. It all starts with just your basic monogram. You can find them at any home improvement craft store. Um, they come in a different si different sizes and different fonts. This is just a basic font and this is actually MDF so it's very sturdy. Okay good. So what do we how do we start? We're going to start with we want to cover the edges so you just buy basic grow grain ribbon like okay. this and we're going to apply a little bit of hot glue to the side if you just want to put some hot glue there. Okay. Nice. And then literally you're going to take your ribbon like this, you kind of cut it to fit and you go like this, just press it into place and then we're going to keep wrapping it around and Look finish out. Look how easy out. that is. I know, very, very easy. Super simple. Okay, so you, you can, can choose whatever color you want. Whichever, I went with white to kind of go with my flowers, but yeah. you can go with any um, any different type of ribbon. So these are faux flowers. That is correct. They sure yes. look real. Don't I they? know they're amazing. They're really I actually, pretty. I actually picked them up from Kirkland's and they're incredible. I love just the different colors and very spring-like. Yeah. So where do we start putting flowers on? Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start with your biggest flowers okay. to make sure. If you look at the actual monogram that I finished over here, they are all. Um, they're all spread out, so they're kind of evenly placed. Okay. So we want to go ahead and start, and I kind of mixed up the pink and the yellow, and I put, I just staggered them, so I put kind of one pink there, and then okay. I add another yellow, and you just start with your, probably your biggest flowers first. How many colors of flowers should you get? I, in this one, I chose about five different um, colors, but you could go with whatever matches your home decor. I also think it's imperative that we use greenery, because that greenery, mm -hmm. it really says spring and fresh. Okay. Wow, you're doing an amazing job, Meryl. Well, thank you. Thank you. I have a good teacher. <laughs> and while we're doing this, tell me about your new book. Let me show this to you so that uh, Nathan can get a good look at this. This is your brand new book, book That's, number two, yes. and it's doing amazing Yes, already. it's a bestseller, actually, is right now really on Amazon. Yes, it's incredible. It's called the DIY Home Planner, and it's all the mistakes you used to make in yes. your house. It is every single mistake I ever made, <laughs> and I made them so other people don't have to make them. Oh, that's nice. So <laughs> I was saving everyone from the world Thank of decorating you. mistakes, but <laughs> it's really about encouragement and really about just celebrating where we are in the decorating process and learning how to love our homes. Not being afraid. That is I, right. Decorating yeah. with confidence. Right. Okay. How did you learn that confidence? I think I just made mistakes, and then when the mistakes didn't work out and I figured out how to fix them all, it just really gave me a lot of confidence and yeah. I just I think go bold go with what you love go with what your heart tells you to decorate with and you know then you will create a home that you love okay how are we doing you are Pretty doing good? amazing you're incredible all right when we're ready to put in the smaller flowers how do you figure out the spacing I just kind of basically I started probably with the greenery next okay and I just tucked a little bit of kind of did it on the back and then just kind of folded it a little bit and tucked it underneath the flower so it would oh, keep yeah. out just That's like that. Cool. And I like texture with greenery is really important. So we have two different types of textures there. And I just put a small dab of glue kind of on the end and you just, I just tucked it in. I love it. You are going to be at Kirkland's and Cool Springs yes. on Saturday. Yes. And folks can actually come out and meet you. Yes. And you got all kinds of great giveaways too. Oh my gosh, we have some super fun giveaways. We have an amazing coupon. I'm going to be giving a talk on how to style a bookcase. Um, I'm going to be telling a few little decorating stories, some of my mistakes, you know, <laughs> to make everyone else feel better. Right, so, right. One o'clock at the Kirkland's and Cool Springs. It's always a party when you're there with Carrie I hope you'll come <laughs> on out. I'm going to be there too. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank Glad you. to see you. The book launch is Saturday from 1 to 3 at Kirkland's in Cool Springs. We'll see you there.